Hi there, my name is Emma Schmidt. I am in the class of 2023 and I am a member of Alpha Phi. Hey, I'm Braylon Evans. I'm a sophomore and I'm in Delta Zeta. I'm a sophomore here at Clemson and I'm affiliated with Greek Life. I'm Mabry Ramey and I'm a rising sophomore at Clemson and my Greek affiliation is Tri Delta. Uh, hey, my name is Grant Ansley. Uh, I'm a junior and I'm in Kappa Sigma uh, here at Clemson. Hi, I'm McKenna Flynn. I'm a freshman at Clemson, and I'm in Delta Zeta Sorority. Hello, I am Joe McInerney. I'm a rising junior business marketing major, and I'm a KA. My name is Kristen Martindale. I'm a sophomore in Alpha Chi Omega at Clemson. My name is Isabella Manfredini. I'm a freshman at Clemson. I'm in the sorority Delta Zeta. I'm Will Stevens. I'm a freshman KA. Hi, my name is Megan Sharkey. I'm a freshman and I'm a member of Alpha Chi Omega. I think some of the negative impacts on students could be if you were living in the houses, it would be hard to focus because you're living with all of your brothers and sisters. Um, so that could make it hard. And then I know for fraternities, majority of their parties are held at their fraternity houses. So if you're trying to do schoolwork and there's a party going on, there's an obvious conflict. I think that sorority and fraternity housing off campus could negatively affect students involved in Greek life because um, it gives them more opportunity to like get away with certain things. Um, for example, like hazing um, would probably happen a lot more frequently because from my experience, I know that the cops walk through at least our hall, I would say once a week it, at least. And so um, that is kind of always on everyone's mind, like making sure that you're not doing anything illegal or inappropriate um, in case the cops walk in. I think some of the negatives of Greek life housing would be that it would cause more division from the rest of the school and it would cause more controversy between all of the Greek life. Um, if they did decide to bring in Greek housing, I think it would cause a lot of controversy deciding who gets housing and who doesn't. Uh, so that would be a negative. I do think that there would be a greater social divide between Greek and non-Greek students if houses were built at Clemson. This is because from my knowledge of bigger Greek schools like Alabama, they have Greek Row and huge, huge, beautiful Greek mansions there. So from an outside perspective, it's it seems like Alabama's social scene is very involved around Greek life. So I feel like a lot of the events there are tailored toward Greek, Greek life students. So I think if you weren't in Greek life, you might feel excluded from a lot of the social events that are going on throughout the weeks and weekends and just feel like you're kind of out of the loop. The presence of houses would just make um, Greek life bigger at Clemson in general. The transition from halls to houses and if that Greek life is bigger, then more events are going to be around Greek life and I feel like that divide would definitely be stronger. Um, when it comes to the um, situation of if there should be Greek housing or not, um, I don't necessarily think that'd be a good idea just because um, that just separates Greek life and non-Greek life students so much more, um, whereas right now there really isn't any separation. Um, and, you know, also I've met so many incredible people that aren't involved with Greek life, and I don't necessarily think I'd be able to um, meet them if there was that separation put in place. And, you know, these are people that I, you know, have really good friendships with and do a lot of stuff with when I'm up in Clemson. So, um, you know, I really don't know necessarily if that would be a beneficial part to, you know, incorporate into the Clemson, um, you know, Greek life situation. Just, I don't think that'd be a good idea. I believe that off-campus housing would cause the, di or um, Greek housing would cause a divide between students in Greek life and those not in Greek life to be deeper because if you have Greek life housing, all you're doing is hanging out with people in Greek life and they don't get to experience like the other students who aren't in Greek life, which is a majority of students at Clemson. I personally think that if there were housing for sororities and fraternities, 
it would definitely increase the divide between Greek life students and non-Greek life students just because the Greek life students that are living in houses would be more secluded and kind of away from everyone else that's not in Greek life. I think schools should be able to determine which organizations get a house. I think it should be based off GPA, good behavior, like if you have a fraternity or sorority that just keeps having incidents, obviously they shouldn't be rewarded with a house. I think that the school should use um, like philanthropy and like academics as a way to decide which ones get um, housing off campus or yeah, to get off campus because I think that the ones that like raise a lot of money for their philanthropy and the ones that do really well academically prove that they're responsible and prove that they like care about representing their sorority or fraternity well. I think if they were gonna implement houses, they'd have to create a house for all frats and all sororities that are present. I do think that um, Greek housing would bring in more applicants. This is because a lot of people, you know, when they apply for schools, they've heard about how amazing Greek life is and they want to be a part of that. And, you know, a big part of that is being able to live in a house with your sisters or brothers. I think that it would bring in more applicants, but of less value, people who don't value education as much and value more of the fun parts of college. I definitely think it would draw in more applicants because when I was applying to schools, I was talking to a bunch of my friends and obviously like a sorority or fraternity house isn't something that's going to make or break a school, but a bunch of them like were wanting houses and Auburn and Alabama has those things. And I guess it could negatively impact the rest of the students because they could feel like they're left out or it's an unfair advantage for sororities and fraternities to have their own separate things. I think that if Greek life were to have housing, I certainly do think that it would uh, draw more applicants to Clemson uh, because a lot of kids that see Clemson as a school they would like uh, compared to big SEC schools such as Auburn, Georgia, Alabama. Um, and I think that a very uh, good thing that they see in those schools, an attractive thing, is the Greek life housing that they have. Um, I think there may be a negative impact that kind of ties into your other question about the divide between Greek and non-Greek students. Um, so I think that if, if there were to be a big housing uh, influx around Greek life, um, there may be more applicants, but I do think there would be a bigger divide between the students. Houses would definitely push an increase in the applicants for Clemson. sororities do a really good job and especially the ones at Clemson do a better job at it than fraternities at deterring hazing and promoting a safe environment. I think hazing at Clemson and fraternities is still very relevant. Um, for sororities, like I know Delta Zeta has their own hall and I, it doesn't increase hazing incidents at all, but I think the fraternity houses the pledges um, are living in it 24-7, so it could increase hazing incidents. I think that hazing happens very frequently at Clemson. It, um, you know, just puts people at risk, and I think that the idea of Greek organizations having their own house would only amplify that situation and make hazing worse and put a lot more kids at risk where they're already in some type of risk, and so I believe that having uh, like fraternity houses would be a bad idea. Do you think that having houses would increase the amount of hazing at Clemson? This is because if you have a house that is completely like off campus, not really affiliated with Clemson, like students will think that's their house, it's their property, they can do whatever they want on it and whatever happens, happens. But I think when you're on a hall and you're on campus, like you know that Clemson police is there and Clemson affiliated workers can come in your house, your hall at all times. And this limits the amount of hazing, but I feel like if these houses were made 20, 30 minutes off campus, nothing would really be there to stop them from doing things that are very foolish and hazing possibly. Um, I don't think we have any hazing now, but I think if we brought in Greek life housing, it would start to occur more because each 
uh, Greek fraternity or sorority would have their own place to conduct that kind of stuff. I think it's just a lot easier for Clemson to have um, the halls because, like I said, the cops walk through, so they're easy to maintain. You know, they have access. They're right in the middle of campus. Um, there's like a lot of focus on them. I think also because that social wedge between non-Greeks and Greek students would definitely be heightened by houses. I think they've con Clemson has considered that and they don't want to put houses because they want to create a wholesome social experience for all students going through Clemson so they can come out of college as a graduate and say, wow, I had a really great experience on all fronts.